Mata Mata is a movie coming out this October from Gabe Ibanez, and it purports to get finally get the robot action movie right. Self-repairing implies some idea of a conscience. staring at me. I shot it because it looked alive. You know what happens once that is altered? Two of them try to alter a third one. Then the miracle dissipates. The epidemic begins. What's going on? If you want to survive, you must stay with us. Now, as you can see, it did show Asimov's laws of robotics, but of course, those aren't the actual laws of robotics. Though people are, are giving a lot of compliments to this movie. Uh, let's reintegrate ourselves into those laws, the first of which is a robot may not injure a human being through inaction or allow a human being to come to harm. That looked like it was in there. Mm -hmm. The second one is the one that changed, I guess. A robot must obey orders given to it by human beings, except where the, it conflicts with the first law. The third law is a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Well, that could that be kind changing, of yeah, altering, altering itself. It's, it's more like... I guess, I don't know, it's a little different. It's a little off, but I, I think the robots, first of all, I think the robots look really cool. They do. I kind of like that, because, I mean, they're, they're not... They're not cute. They're kind of awesome. I don't know, because I, I think sometimes when you have a robot movie where you've got, um, and I, this is because I watch Battlestar, skin jobs, mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like it would be 50 years in the future. It feels like it'd be pretty far away. Right. Um, so yeah, I watch too much but Battlestar. Scott, their spines are red, Jenna. I know. During sex. <gasps> Oh, I have that sweatshirt. <laughs> it's like a saying. Yeah, I feel like it's projecting something that I don't want projected. Perhaps. So, uh, but it does look like an interesting movie. It, it's taking place in a future that it seems like uh, life, human being, humanity as we know it, has kind of, uh, it's coming towards sort of an, a, a, ch a breaking point at least. It's, this is before Mad Max times. Right. Right. But, uh, so we have kind of this desertification of uh, Earth, I guess, and we have... Oh, you mean like what's happening in L.A. right now? Yeah, I mean... We have no water, and it hasn't rained in two well, years, but, yeah, you know. Yeah, and then Fury Road, no. <laughs> um, and the trailer for Young Ones that yes. came out not long ago, which looks awesome. Mm -hmm. So but not we're at this robots. point in, um, I guess, human history where we're starting to question what exactly is life and what constitutes life. And we see that in the trailer when he says, calling me just a machine is like calling you just an ape. And Good move. Oh, I like yeah. it. I like, well, there was there was a segment of the Animatrix a number of years back that talked about robots and and trying to trying to be friends with humans. I love when they come in in their little human outfits and it's sad and people are just stupid and they're mean to the robots and then this happens. Mm -hmm. Don't piss off the robots. I don't even yell at my toaster. It's not a good idea. I yell at my toaster. Well, toaster needs to know who's boss. Toaster's gonna take over. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happens? Toaster needs to kneel. <laughs> oh, it's cool to see like a dystopian style movie that's like before the tipping point. Right. Like they have their problems to deal with with you know environmental stuff, and now everybody's worried that like, hey, some of these robots are fixing themselves, and they're not supposed to be able to do that. I'm really starting to get worried about this, yeah. which is cool because you know we don't see that robot apocalypse we're before it and either preventing it or it's inevitable or Antonio well, Banderas is going to shoot some robots I don't know what's going to happen I think that's going to happen yeah we get to consider you know maybe we shouldn't be the dominant species anymore which is like it's hard to think of yeah. but maybe we're not the most well if we keep making the shiny robots eventually we won't be so that are cockroaches robots are cockroaches yeah, robots will definitely outlive me because I'm very squishy and delicate. <laughs> but the movie looks really interesting, and we'll, besides the cool explosions and heads getting chopped off, and Antonio Banderas just being Antonio Banderas, it looks really interesting, and we'll have some uh, concepts that I would like to think about. Slash watch explode. Uh, what do you think of the Automata trailer, and what the promise is for the movie? Let us know what you think below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.